Good morning, comrades. Good morning, Pancake. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nova Crane. We just came back from Team Shermer to check up on the M5. Mm -hmm. Would that fit in there? Probably would fit, but that's not the plan. The status for now is we're still waiting on the quote on some parts, so we'll get update like beginning of next year which is like in two weeks because a lot of people a lot of companies are on holiday right now so there is no update plus we all have holidays and there is that but so just in case you're wondering so the earliest update will follow in the next couple of weeks moreover yes i got new braces not sure if you can see it um they hurt a bit because it's like you get in, they get them tightened up but the thing is at this point i'm really reconsidering moving the surgery to the end of next year the issue that we're dealing with right now is that the estimate to have it around March and this means that March beginning of the season then I'll be out of action at least for a month and after that maybe even longer so until like N24 probably I won't be able to drive to race to make videos and it kind of scares me to be honest like when it comes to YouTube channel and all the other endeavors. So I'm thinking like finish the braces treatment, get all the teeth straight and then do the double jaw surgery end of next year because now I can actually prepare because when I went to Dominican for the holiday, like prior two weeks before that, I shot uh, lots of onboards and then I could go for a week on a holiday and like have all the videos pre-uploaded and uh, scheduled for publication. So I can definitely save up one or even maybe two months of videos in the next year. It's just my thoughts. I don't know. I'm still contemplating, but uh, we will see. Just want to share some personal f thoughts and things with you. Speaking of personal facts and things, yesterday we had our first, very first stream. I would like to thank everyone who has tuned in. To be honest, I was actually very positively surprised by the amount of people who tuned in in total, who kept watching and all the interaction, because... I honestly, I was slightly scared that people would say like, ah, no, sim racing content, we don't want to see it. And why, why are you doing this? Of course, not everyone wants to see it, but you don't have to watch every single video that I put out. And don't worry, like you see, now we have vlog, tomorrow we have something else, then we might have a stream. And sometimes I might publish a video and the stream on the same time because yeah, why not? Um, so there is that. So again, thank you very much. We will definitely come up with some new things, some challenges. I think one of the next things that we will do one of the next things that we will do is probably instruct Diana to go sub 10 because yesterday she did a 17 minute lap, but she only using controller. So I think it's kind of challenging. So I think that's going to be one of the next things. Furthermore, when we look at Apex, it is kind of empty here because Apex is officially closed now for winter holidays. The only person that is there right now is George because he's working on a car. So I guess let's go have a look what he is doing. Should we go say hi to George? Another update, last time you saw the Supra, it was getting uh, its stock retrimming back on. So it is now fully stock except for the brakes. The APs are still on it, but the wheels are stock, suspension is stock. Well, let's see what's up inside. You can actually guess it because the Cupra was supposed to be there or has been always there in the last couple of months. Hello. Uh, go. Well, while we wait for him to finish up cuddling pancake, got pan pan pancake package. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's so nice. Doing meal time with pancake. It's actually handwritten. That's so cool. <gasps> wow, that's what I want for sure. That's what I need. Happy socks from Koenigsegg. Oh, wow. Well, I might as well show you also some other Christmas packages I have received from grape, gingerbread, wheelie grapey gingerbread cookies. Really like this mug as well that you can clip. So it's kind of mug and well, that you can travel with. Really nice idea, very cool. And then, cannot wait to try it. A wheelie grapey mallet wine spice mix. Get it, get it. <laughs> Almost as if I was in charge of marketing department. <laughs> but in any case, also from Marta at three months, I have received their very first magazine. You can also buy it on their webshop where you can, yeah, you can have the history of three months and 
all their latest achievements, of course, the Rimac Bugatti deal, and yeah, that's, I remember that picture, <sighs> yep, yeah, it's cool, and speaking of Rimac and Christmas, it's gonna be time soon to wear this. Oh, and by the way, they now also released a kit size version as well that you can also find on the website. A couple of Christmas updates later and also a walk later. Kind of a bit too late because all the action has already happened. You're working too soon, too quick, George. Yeah, I'm the home. If only you were driving as quick yesterday. Listen. <laughs> I was having fun, so I don't care. <laughs> Me too. Some people were complaining like, oh, Misha, you drive in real life a lot better. Yeah, because this is fun. It's but, cool. Yeah, well, in any case, tell us. doing all this to change the oil filter, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. So now you're going to change the oil filter and then you're going to put it back in, right? Yeah, exactly. Cool, nice. Well, on a serious note, the reason why the engine is out is because we're going to put 500 horsepower in there. No. Oh, it's getting less. A what? Robert said, if the engine comes out of this, or any of the cars, then it needs to be replaced with an LS. Oh yeah, so, full American spec. Full American spec, then we're going to have a big eagle down the side of the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the reason for that is since the car had an accident that you, most of you should know by now already about, you can see here, crash structure, crash structure, bent. Yeah, that is you can see it easier here. Oh yeah. Increase. Yeah. Bent. In comparison bent. to it's their... It's designed for, by the way. It's not True. Like... Yeah, yeah. This is literally crumple. These these are pinched on the on the thing as crumple zones. This is for strength and then this is like a crumple. It's what it needs to do. So that's exactly what it's supposed exactly. to do. Exactly. So it's going to go on a straightening bench or how you call it in proper words? Jig. Jig. Straightening jig. So pull this out, make it straight, put the engine back in. Um, that's... Pretty much it. Yeah, basically, it depends. If if, you, if they straighten it and it cracks in certain places, obviously they'll need to take all the loom off when they do it. Oh yeah. Um, but I'm leaving it for them because they can put it back after they've painted it and it's done. But if it cracks, then depending on where it cracks and whatever else, you might need to take the whole chassis route off and then put a new one in. So mm. It's a little bit of a pain, but. Hopefully they'll be able to straighten it, it's not that bad. Was there anything else that we need to do to the car? I mean, the rear chassis, right? Or like rear yeah, subframes? The rear has been moved, the rear, like, uh, rear panel. I guess that's pretty much it for today's update. Are you still doing anything else this week? I started stripping E92, and obviously Sod's Law um, found like a, a Vanos issue. And then I started up this morning, runs perfect. Ah. <laughs> I was like, oh, good. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for today's update about last few days, about coming months, coming weeks. Um, so I'm gonna quickly run home and edit this this video. And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you very much for tuning in for to this video, to yesterday's stream, to upcoming streams. As I mentioned, we're gonna have a lot more like challenges and a, a couple of other things coming up. Um, looking forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video, which I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, but more importantly, I'm wishing you, if you're celebrating any festivities this week, a uh, great week ahead and also all the preparations that come with it. Uh, see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.